had to go on base to like a recycling center on base and throw out all the recycling that had built up, all of the, you know, like cardboard boxes because they had a cardboard, cardboard recycler, as well as they had two trash dumpsters for anything else and we cleaned out the car. And now we just have a bunch more boxes now, so I'm probably going to have to run out later or something and drop, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because back in like 12 hours. My goal is it's 
541 right now. My goal is for about 1, 1 o'clock, 1.30 to be able to walk through this place and show you everything much, much, much more organized. We are completely done cleaning, organizing, putting the stuff up that we can. There's still a few things that aren't done, but you know, this is this is just to give tips and tricks and to show you in real life what getting ready for having family over when you're not when your house just isn't ready. You know, we just we haven't gone through the whole fly lady and organizing systems cuz that's the biggest issue with like cleaning is isn't just maintaining cuz maintaining is easy for me and my husband's an excellent cleaner and he's very fast, but it's to it's Organizing systems, if you don't have anywhere to house anything, it's hard and you're like, we'll just get rid of stuff. Well, yeah, I've purged a lot. Just what we've done in just the past little, like, day, like, two days, what we've put together, what we've done, just because family was coming. They're staying at a hotel, though, so that gives me more time to, like, do even more cool stuff. But I'm going to show you guys the house, how it's done um, so far, and give you some tips and tricks. Okay, let's get started. Hmm. Okay. So, let's go and look at the... So, Sean did the grass, but now it's starting to pop up again. And this is where we put all of the <laughs> cardboard boxes, because as I said, my husband was gone all day um, with, with my car, and I, we weren't able to take the boxes anywhere, so we just kind of hid them there. That I'm going to put some more things in that to make it more like 4th of July-esque, but that's what I have so far. And then I popped up a little 4th of July thing there. I'll just come in and you see everything and everything's clean. Yay. So let's go over here. Come on, Rogue. Here's my puppy. <clears throat> That's my hair tie. Okay. So this is like a little updated from what you saw before. So I still ha didn't have anywhere. I hadn't hung up that little sign yet, the little Jesus sign, but... I framed this photo finally, and it's something I won uh, when I was doing runway stuff with the Women's Showcase. I actually got a free ticket, and so my mother-in-law and I went and went to that and put in for some raffle stuff, and I won that. So I didn't even have to pay. It came with my ticket. It was awesome. So this is a really good smelling candle I got from my other Ross or TJ Maxx. And it smells like pear and mint, and I had it at work, but I never used it because I was always afraid just to, like, accidentally leave it and burn down the building. So I brought it home because I thought it would smell really good. That's our Scentsies. It has like satin sheets in there right now because I've been having issues changing the um, the light bulb and so I've been switching it between that one and the other one in the kitchen. Fourth of July, Dollar Tree. And then this doesn't really have anything in it. This is actually for my music room but I'm gonna put more stuff in it and just kind of organize it better but we got some more stuff in and we just couldn't put the cabinet or the other laundry thing together so it's just hiding here, let's be real. And some attachments for the vacuum cleaner which got moved, let's just be real about things. But the new vacuum cleaner worked out pretty well. It got a lot of the puppy hair off, which I put this down preventatively. And I vacuumed with it and everything and it works really well and Sean said it sucks, but that's what vacuums are supposed to do. This is an old, like, vintage painted thing. I need to touch it up a little bit, but I just wanted it clear so we could put drinks on it and stuff. And we borrowed these basically from the Airman's Attic, which is that free military thrift shop. It's got two, it's got another one. It didn't actually have four, it only had three. But we just got this as, like, extra seating. We, this is what I got for my dog. I always like to put a different bandana on her and then on her bed. And this is all the same, and it's all cleaned off, and I'm so happy. And I put that guy up. I think I already showed you that. So, and this is all up and awesome, and it's working out really, really well. And I still haven't updated that. It still says Valentine's Day. And with all the stuff moved, this looks so much better. That's going to has house all of my music stuff. It has utility stuff in there right now, but. And this is all of my, um crafting stuff in here. That thing is from Walmart actually. Really? This is pro this is a free folding sewing table that I got from the Airman's Attic and I will probably
be clearing that off and using it for the table if we sit at it like the last day that they're here. My little chair. That's a weird old freaky pirate mask thingy. That's got all my like books and stuff and magazines and music in it. And that's just where it's being housed until I get an organizer for that. Keeping it real. And again, some more like my laptop and some filming stuff and some filming equipment in here which that's the one thing that I need to do and the box of scary most of that stuff in there are like plastic thing or either items that we have to just move into other rooms donate or their stuff that's actually their bins that are actually gonna go in the utility cabinet once we build it and there's just some art that I haven't hung on the walls yet and I don't know. The office looks so good. So Sean just got really fast and these are all his like under the bed boxes so he just put his laundry just all up in those and just stack them rather than actually putting them up because at the last minute you gotta do what you gotta do. And okay granted this is kind of a working desk right now that has my note but my planner because I was doing some planning. My husband's phone because he left it and I'm drinking. We had one of these things. And it's called Truly, and it's like sparkling, spiked, sparkling water. It's just not very good, though. I just don't like it. It's just not... But look, his desk is all clear. It looks so good. And he vacuumed. And there's uh, his boots. I don't love it there, but he doesn't mind it, and that's what he wanted to do. And that stupid, stupid shoe cubby was just not good enough. And here's another thing. I don't know if you can see it. My car is outside. I parked in front. Our house is like toward the side because it's, you know, we're in a, like a mobile home situation right now. And uh, I did that so the in-laws could park in our actual space and then my husband's giant truck could park there too. Coasters are important for preventative reasons and those were made from Bud Light things, which Sean does drink. So this is our vacuum cleaner. It's a shark rocket. It was like $139 at Walmart because like the new one, the brand new one that you can get is like 600 bucks and I was like, no, this works, works really well and you can actually mount it on the wall. We just can't because we can't put holes in it. This is the only like scary section that we really need to kind of deal with. It's just, it's like organized chaos at this point. I mean, everything has a point and I really am so sick of this, that purple desk and this purple shelves. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking Facebook prices and now I'm thinking they look like children's desks. This is Sean's like little bin when he doesn't feel like putting stuff up so nothing ever gets horrible and I got both of these for like less than twelve dollars at Walmart and they're gonna house, he hasn't moved them yet, but they're gonna house all of his like t-shirts and pajamas and stuff so he can get them out of the bedroom because the office and his closet is where he dresses and stuff so that works out and then those are shoe boxes and a shoe tree and a couple of things there that he's not finished with and then we got this from Amazon we got all most of this stuff from Amazon it's by Laundry Nook and it's for Sean's dirty clothes because he had no place for him to put stuff when they got dirty while he was changing and now he has he has two of these but he's got one he's using right now where he hung up like, oh there it is, all of his ties. And this is from Amazon too. I'm going to try to link all these below. It's just really neat. And he has like just enough and now he has an extra one so he's going to probably buy more. So we're heading towards the kitchen, which is all clean now except for the Trulia from the Truly crap stuff. Yay, it's all clean. And I got an extra drying mat that we could put like on there because we need more because we don't have a, um, dishwasher which sucks and then I got these little thingies and they're to like absorb water so you can put stuff on them and this is one so you don't get those leaks from the coffee machine and just everything's clean I cleaned in here um I used a uh, oh, trick doing like two minutes of uh, a bowl of water with lemon in it and it makes anything caked on just come right off and then this bunch of stuff is hidden in here, you know, because we don't really have an under the sink thing. And, and just, I'm so happy. Everything's cleaned off. I moved some of the candles that just didn't really belong there. 
And this, this is the only thing I'm not crazy about these two guys being there, but that's some, like, guest stuff and lemon bites. These are delicious, by the way, from the Walmart Bakery of all places. Um, and they seem to like them, and I think we already had that set up yesterday, but now it's got a bunch of clothes in it. So happy with this so far. I've got my little recycling containers for medicine and batteries. Everything kind of matches. This is was actually a gift from my aunt, Sh uh, my husband's aunt Sherry, the Crawfords, um, who made that, which is totally adorable. And we hung it, I hung it up. And then this is something we got in, again from that company. And this is for rags because I don't like rags being in the same place. I'm just weird. This is the only scary spot left because the cabinet's gonna go there and all that stuff's gonna go in the cabinet or be thrown out or be recycled or be donated. <laughs> this is actually something I found outside like the first day it was in here it was like the old the people who used to live here left it so I just washed it and put it there. I couldn't put it at the front door because the door opens and messes with it but we never go out this back door so. And then it's a laundry setup thingy there and let's go in the bathroom. This is all clean. This is pretty much the same that's the only scary spot is with the tools and that'll go in the utility cabinet once we make that and then I've got some art back there like nautical knots and some things from my parents house with like shells and stuff in it that I'm going to set up but this smells really good. This is like a pomegranate um, scentsy smells really good. My noodle. Guys so if I would have had this set up for like four guests and so I'll probably do something cute with it just because they you know will be stopping by and stuff and this is working out well. See this is a little scary so we've got to come up with a solution for that. And then we've got um, this guy put back up that I borrowed and now that's up with just a couple of guest towels. And then the final room which we thought would be the guest room for them until they said no oh, we got a hotel we're not gonna kick you out of your bedroom. So, but everything's pretty clean. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay, let me... Okay, so that's on the ground, but that's my train case. And this is all cleaned off. This is not cleaned off yesterday. And all these were spilling out. There's blue candles into here. I like kind of the pops of teal we got going on. It just kind of happened. But this designer lady, this Canadian designer lady that I spoke to once, like a few years ago, told me that that would look really good in my room. So, and this thing is from the Airman's Attic. I got it for free. It houses all that stuff. And it just looks good. Come in with a trash bag and throw the crap away and t tear down boxes and just find and hide the stuff in places. Like, this, underneath there are two um, locker bins that are ugly plastic things that Sean's gotten when he's deployed and we just covered it in fabric that we got from the Airman's Attic for free and sometimes I, you know, we hang some stuff there and that needs to be put up but and it gets hot in this room so we've got that and of course we hung that up and I have my outfit from yesterday on there but again another ugly trunk thingy covered with fabric and then this is what I moved that was in the middle and I'm not using these for shoes, I'm using these for like clutches and handbags. So yeah, I mean I threw away some trash, so I haven't actually thrown that out yet, so I'll probably gotta throw that out and there's Sean's gun. And you know, still pretty clean. You know, and then I kind of like crudely made the bed this morning, but um I just have to put my big pillow cover back on, but I kinda like the pop of teal, as I said with the other stuff, so I'm really Happy. I didn't go in and like vacuum in here, unfortunately, but it turns out well, we'd find out before they were coming that they actually weren't going to stay here, so <laughs> that worked out. So, I'm, oh, I'm actually really, really happy, especially you guys saw the beginning of how terrible it was and those pictures and that, and then that video. I really wish you had seen it before we got the boxes of things from Amazon because my husband did a really good job getting this like all started. And then we got the boxes of stuff in, which were, which was, you know, an issue, but he put some stuff together, which was awesome. And so we had boxes around that just cluttered it up again, but then just getting rid of those, 
using the my the vacuum cleaner we had gotten, uh, you know, cleaning in the, the microwave, finishing the dishes. It was just. It was great, and then we still got, and Sean and I both still got to put decorative things up, which I love. So, uh, I've got some great content coming up, so like this page if you want to see more of this stuff and anything else. Please press the subscribe button if I don't have you as a sub subscriber. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. Go on to all my other social media. This will be linked below. This will be linked on my YouTube channel. They'll be linked, though you'll see them on a uh, little page at the end of this video. And... Have an awesome day, awesome summer, all those things. I'll see you guys later. Please share and press the little bell so you never miss a video. Bye, guys.